If you just run through somebody's face, a lot of people ain't gonna be able to take it over, 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 over. Marshawn Lynch, unbelievable! Dubbed beast mode due to his aggressive running style and consistent ability to break tackles, Lynch, a two-time NFL rushing touchdowns leader, has created history by being designated the first NFL's Player Association brand chief ambassador. Let's start by taking a quick look at his background and his family life. The outstanding running back was born Marshawn Terrell Lynch on April 22, 1986 in Oakland, California. Son of Maurice Sapp and Delisa Lynch, Marshawn Lynch is 5 feet 11 inches and weighs around 215 pounds. Maurice Sapp, his father, has been in and out of prison since Lynch was a youngster and is currently serving a 24-year sentence for burglary. Because of this, Lynch relied on his grandpa, or papa as he called him, Leron Lynch, who was instrumental in his upbringing and helped him focus on staying on the field versus on the streets. Besides his grandpa helping him out when he could, Lynch and his three elder siblings, two brothers and a sister, were raised by their mother almost single-handedly. Lynch shares such a strong bond with his mother that he intentionally has adopted his mother's surname. And when he was just a 12-year-old kid, he promised that he's gonna make it to the NFL and buy her a house. This probably isn't too surprising to most of you, but almost all of Lynch's relatives are very good athletes, and many have played at the NFL level. His cousins include former San Francisco 49ers wide receiver Robert Jordan, former Oakland Raiders quarterback Jamarcus Russell, and New York Giants backup quarterback Josh Johnson. His uncle Lorenzo Lynch has also played in the NFL for 11 years. And another fun fact, rapper Mista FAB is also Lynch's cousin. Quite the family, don't you think? Lynch initially attended the Oakland Technical High School. At Oakland Tech, Lynch was a four-sport star for the Bulldogs, football, basketball, track, and wrestling. In his 2003 season, Lynch amassed 1,722 rushing yards and 23 touchdowns in only eight regular season games, and an additional 375 rushing yards and 10 touchdowns in two postseason games. He was voted a prep star and super prep All-American, and was also voted the San Francisco East Bay Player of the Year. In basketball, he played on the Oakland Tech's team alongside future Cal star Leon Bell. Lynch helped lead his team to the state semifinals. In addition to football, Lynch excelled in track and field, where he competed mainly as a sprinter, but also in jumping events. He recorded a personal best time of 10.94 seconds in the 100-meter dash as a senior, while also posting top leaps of 6 feet 4 inches in the high jump and 20 feet 10 inches in the long jump. Another fun fact, he played defensive back and also played quarterback, wide receiver, and linebacker in high school. The Rivals.com recruiting network had him ranked number two in the nation at running back behind future superstar running back Adrian Peterson. Later, he went to the University of California, Berkeley, and graduated with social welfare as his major. His nickname in college was Money. Here, he totaled 3,830 total yards and 29 touchdowns in just 35 games, played from 2004 to 2006. On January 2nd, 2007, Lynch announced that he would forego his senior season to enter the 2007 NFL Draft. Coming to his NFL career, Lynch was the first round 12th overall pick by the Buffalo Bills in the 2007 NFL Draft. He signed a six-year, $18.9 million contract with a $3 million signing bonus and $10.3 million guaranteed. Lynch got off to a hot start in Buffalo. He notched back-to-back 1,000-yard -back seasons in his first two years with Buffalo, earning a Pro Bowl nod in 2008. On the field, Lynch was a young talent on his way towards stardom, but Lynch was making headlines for all the wrong reasons. In 2008, Lynch hit a pedestrian in downtown Buffalo and lost his driver's license. Later, he was charged with possessing a concealed firearm in 2009. The league suspended him for three games. These incidents gave Lynch the label of being a thug and a locker room cancer. In reality, Lynch wasn't a thug. He was a young and naive adult who come from the bottom and didn't know how to handle the pressure of fame and fortune given to him at such a young age. His days in Buffalo were numbered. Lynch got his fresh start. Playing out the rest of the year in Seattle, Lynch ran for 573 yards and six touchdowns in 12 games with the Seahawks. The Seahawks finished 7-9, good enough to win first place in the NFC West and clinch a playoff berth. 
That same year, Lynch scored a 67-yard touchdown run against the New Orleans Saints in his first career playoff game on January 8, 2011, breaking nine tackles and throwing Saints cornerback Tracy Porter to the ground with one arm. This run has become known as the Beast Quake in Seattle. It's, it's just a little baby step on. The move got its moniker from Lynch's nickname, Beast Mode, as well as the fact that the movement from spectators jumping in celebration during and after the play was so intense that it was recorded on a seismograph 100 yards away from the stadium. In total, Lynch played 12 seasons in the NFL from 2007 to 2019. During that span, he would play 149 career games and record 10,400 rushing yards, 2,200 receiving yards, and 85 touchdowns. Quite a career. Lynch also led the NFL in rushing touchdowns during 2013-2014 and was a five-time pro bowler. He also won himself a Super Bowl championship in 2013 as well. But on February 7, 2016, Lynch announced his retirement via Twitter. But wait, calm down guys, Lynch isn't going anywhere, he did make a return to the NFL. It was confirmed in 2017 that he had agreed to join the Oakland Raiders and that the Seahawks would sell him. On April 26, the same year, he was traded to the Raiders with a two-year, $9 million contract and a $2 million bonus for 1,000 rushing yards for the season. However, Lynch returned to the Seattle Seahawks during the final week of the 2019 regular season after two successful seasons with the Raiders. He made his second debut with the Seahawks in Week 17 against the San Francisco 49ers on NBC Sunday Night Football. A quick look at a few controversies. The NFL suspended him for the Bills' first three games of the 2009 season for violations of the league's personal conduct policy. Lynch was also fined $11,050 for his celebration of the score, falling back while extending the ball behind his head and grabbing his crotch. The league considered his celebration an obscene gesture. Lynch has been known for his reluctance to talk to the media and has been fined by the NFL for refusing to talk to the press in 2013 and 2014. A lot of people thought this was hilarious. Some of the videos are awesome, and if you haven't seen those, I definitely recommend you check them out. Let's take a look at some of his many endorsement deals. Lynch has often been caught munching on the American sour candy Skittles in between games and has also been fined $10,000 for wearing cleats with the candy on them. This resulted in a formal agreement between the parties in 2014, and when he was caught chewing Skittles during a nationally televised game in 2011, the Mars company even promised him a two-year supply and a special dispenser for his locker. He's also earning over $5 million annually through endorsing brands such as Nike, Microsoft, Pepsi, Activation, Frito-Lays, Subway, and Progressive. Ironically, Skittles, Taste the Rainbow, and Marshawn never landed a deal despite his love for the multicolored candy. In fact, his mom used to give him Skittles before every Pop Warner Little League game, calling them power pellets. Marshawn never stopped this tradition and was oftentimes seen having himself a bag on the sidelines during games. Moving on to his investments and other income sources. Lynch has dipped his toes into multiple business ventures since he decided to hang up his cleats for good following the brief emergency comeback he had with the Seahawks at the end of the 2019 season. As mentioned earlier, Lynch is famed for his signature maneuver, Beast Mode, which he's transformed into a lifestyle brand of the same name that sells gear and accessories in collaboration with online store Fanatics. Lynch is also the brains behind Beast Mobile, an ad-supported cell phone service that debuted in 2017, a novel approach for users to pay their phone bills by interacting with ads and offers. To your surprise, Lynch is a skilled BMX biker as well. And when former pro BMX rider Todd Lyons learned this, he immediately launched a special edition Beast Mode Ripper BMX bike in collaboration with Lynch in 2018. In April 2021, he joined the ownership group of the USL Championship team Oakland Roots SC. And in April 2022, Lynch became a part investor in the NHL team Seattle Krakens. Moreover, he's a co-owner and executive of the Oakland Panthers and FCF Beast, professional indoor football teams founded in 2018 and 2020, respectively. Furthermore, Lynch launched his cannabis brand, Doty Blunts, in 2021, which operates in the Bay Area and contributes proceeds to the Last Prisoner Project, a drug reform initiative. He also became an investor in a hologram firm called Portal Incorporated in November 2021. And for his collective net worth, you must stick around to the end. So how does he spend his loot? 
Lynch's humble abode is a $1.1 million, 2,831 square feet mansion with five bedrooms and three bathrooms in Waialua, Hawaii. Coming now to the car collection. Having test driven and reviewed multiple cars in 2016, Lynch himself owns quite a collection, which includes a 1986 Honda Civic and V12 Lamborghini Aventador Roadster. He also recently bought a Toyota Prius and uses it as an Uber occasionally. Lynch also has a natural penchant for buying grills. Bought a customized Seahawks grill before the 2012 season. Let's now look into his other interests. Outside of his football career, Lynch has also appeared in an episode of The League's seventh season on FX. He also played a spoof of himself in the Brooklyn Nine-Nine season four episode, The Fugitive Part One. He's also featured in the documentary film, Family First, The Marshawn Lynch Story. Lynch was cast as a member of the third season of the HBO drama Westworld. The show premiered in 2020. Lynch also appeared in an episode of Murderville, a comedy murder mystery streaming television series published by Netflix in February 2022 alongside Will Arnett. Lynch improvises alongside Arnett in the episode attempting to solve a fictional murder mystery. He's also posed nude for the 2014 edition of ESPN, the magazine's body issue. Peeking now into his personal life, Lynch has opted to make his personal life as secret as possible since he's a very private person. Little is known about his ex-girlfriend or who he's dating. Lynch is not married yet and has no children as of now. However, he is said to have begun dating Charmaine Glock in 2015, but the couple appears to have split up recently. Some sources also suggest that he was previously in a relationship with R&B soul artist Netta Brielle. Let's now see Marshawn Lynch at Social Service. He's also well known for his active involvement in the community. Lynch is universally loved and respected by his teammates for his kindness and benevolent nature. Along with his cousins and fellow NFL players Josh Johnson and Marcus Peters, he's founded the Fam First Family Foundation, which provides support to underprivileged youth in the state. In 2013, Lynch was also featured in Red Bull's Athletes Give Back campaign when he organized a successful food drive for his hometown of Oakland. And here at this point, you people must be getting excited about his net worth. The Beast Mode has an estimated net worth of around $35 million, according to some reliable online sources, and it's likely going to continue to climb in the coming years. That's it for now, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Goodbye and peace out.